In this video, we will be beginning Module 1, Structure and Properties of Matter in the Year 11 Preliminary HSC Chemistry Syllabus. Starting with Section 1, Properties of Matter. This video will introduce you to concepts of what matter is, as well as what the different types of matter which exist are. So the first concept and question which we propose is what is matter? Now in essence, matter is really just any substance which has mass and volume, and essentially the definition of what stuff is. We should know from junior science that there are three different states of matter. We have solids which are characteristically hard in nature. We have liquids which flow and conform to the shape of their containers, such as water. And we have gases, which are also completely free of roam, and an example of that is air, which is a concoction of many different types of gases. Now with gases, we are unable to see gases, nor, and I'll say this in quotation marks, feel them. Here on the right hand side, we have an example of three different states of matter, of water, which we know as a solid called ice, we know as a liquid just being liquid water, and we know as a gas called steam. That being said, there are also three different types of matter, which we will delve into in more detail. First of which is an element, the next one are compounds, and finally we have mixtures. So elements are the first type of matter which we will have a look into. Now what's more particular about elements is the fact that they are pure substances, meaning that there is only one type of particle in there, and in this case, only one type of atom. Now that being said, since the element is composed entirely of just the one type of atom, we cannot break it further down into its component parts. There is only one element which is there. We will learn about other pure substances which contain multiple types of atoms when we go and look at compounds. Now where can we find these elements? We can find them on the periodic table of elements, hence the name. And what we'll learn is that by understanding the trends of the periodic table of elements, we can actually work out and predict what the properties of some of these elements will be. An example of an element is iron here, which we can see on the right hand side. So the next type of matter which we'll look into is a compound, which I briefly mentioned in the previous section. Compounds are similar to elements in the case that they're also a pure substance, which means that they're composed of only one type of particle. But what differentiates it from an element is that it does not contain only one type of atom, it contains two or more bonded types of elements, and thus the particles of the compound would consist of two or more atoms. Now while atoms cannot be broken down further, compounds can be separated into their component parts if we are using chemical means, and an example of a chemical means of breaking things down is something called electrolysis. That being said, the compounds cannot be separated through physical separation techniques. Now notice the formula of H2O, water, indicates that the particle contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom per unit or per particle. Now the last of the three types of substances are mixtures. Now mixtures are different from elements and compounds in that they contain two or more elements and or compounds and thus are not pure substances. Another defining feature of the mixtures is that they are only physically combined, they are not chemically combined, and what this means for us is that they can be separated using physical separation techniques. Now one such example is dirt water on the right hand side, and if you look at the mixture you'll notice that there is some dirt that's settled to the bottom, and there's also this dirt which is suspended in the midst of water. 